Hi and welcome to another inspiring artist worth studying. Today I'm going to be talking about Adam Hughes. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So today I'm going to be talking about Adam Hughes, who's one of my favorite uh, representational comic book artists. So <clears throat> by representational, I mean that he's like the most kind of realistic looking comic book uh, artists uh, while, while still being in the comic book realm. Uh, he, he's just really, really good at capturing uh, natural anatomy, uh, natural looks to people's, uh, to people, uh, likenesses. Um, he tends to uh, digitally paint his stuff really, really uh well, naturalistically, and but but he also does a lot of marker uh, drawings. His, his sketches are 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 very famous. Uh, he draws so much, so much. There's so much to see of his work that it was pretty much it's pretty much impossible for me to even begin to show you all that he did. So what I'm going to focus on specifically is his sketching, and I mean his preliminary sketching, a lot of this preliminary sketching. That doesn't mean I'm not going to show you some of the finished stuff. In fact, I'm going to begin with one of his finished drawings, just so that you could see where, uh, you know, like, like uh, what he does, if you're not familiar with him. But otherwise, I'm going to, we're going to just kind of go over some of his sketching uh, that I found, that I, that I find very inspiring. So let's let's get started with this drawing here, and this drawing is uh, I think this was done for a Comic Con uh, uh, cover, uh, you know the the, the Comic Con booklet cover that that the booklet that kind of, that that you get at Comic Con, and this was done for that I believe, and uh, this is what I'm talking about. He captures likenesses really well. This is the way that he digitally colors, which is uh, really, really nice. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't use a Wacom tablet. I, uh, he, I think he uses a mouse for all of his coloring. Uh, he just never wanted, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm still, uh, the last time I, I checked it or read any interview with him, he kind of refused to use a Wacom Cintiq or a Wacom tablet because he didn't feel like learning how to do that after he learned, he taught himself how to do everything with a mouse. So this is his, uh, his, uh, what it looks like when he finishes a drawing. And so you can, you could understand what I mean by, by, by a very naturalistic look to his drawings while still, uh, feeling kind of comic book ish at the same time it still has that comic book look to it while being very very uh, representational at the same time uh beautiful beautiful work look at the drapery on 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 this clothes here it's just amazing look how, how it wraps around him how he's placed solidly into this uh onto the floor here both of them are have have really solid uh uh, planted feet here. Uh, the you, the secondary characters where where we have here Gandalf here and look how beautiful this anatomy here is. Uh, it, it's just really really fantastic, fantastic work. He's just so so good. Uh, we could even zoom in a little bit closer. Let's see if we can look at Harrison Ford's face over here. Um, it's too bad. This is such a such a low res uh, picture, but look how look how great all of this all of this stuff is. Um, he he's just so good at at drawing this. Okay, let's let's move on to to some sketching. Okay, so here we have a uh, he, so. Adam Hughes started off as a uh, as a comic book artist drawing continuity. He eventually moved only to doing covers and illustration for comics uh, because uh, he started getting slower and slower. I think it's in part because he's such a perfectionist and his and his and his work is so so um, uh, uh, 
representational, so 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 naturalistic that he wanted to to keep working on that sort of representational look. But here's some of his sketches. You can you can see how he works all the shapes out, how he masses all the all the blacks in order to get these uh, looks. But here you can see that he drew the head all the way through and then drew this shape here for the hair. So the hair is a, is a graphic. Again, here here is the head shape and then you could actually see the neck connecting into the into the torso here. So the ha the, the hair is a graphic design on top of a structured uh, head head head, right? And we've got this body shape here and it's a and it's a silhouette. All of these shapes here are silhouettes look at how clear the silhouettes are so when he when he approaches a drawing what he's thinking about is the graphic representation is this a clear clean design uh remember how he ends up finishing his drawings his drawings are very naturalistic if they feel semi photographic right but the way that he approaches the drawings here are completely graphic and com by graphic I mean flat. Uh, does it read in a flat, in, in, in a flat uh, abstract way, like, like in an abstract shape? So like this, this is an abstract person and you could read the, the pose clearly. Uh, this is this is fairly abstract. This this right here, this creature, is is not detailed. It's 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 an abstract graphic shape. Does it read? These guys here, they're all just shapes. There's no detail in them. Uh, in in what he's playing with is silhouettes. Does this read? Do do you see? So it's so it doesn't like 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 the the final line work is in service of the graphic read that he first comes up with before he does any of the details so detail is secondary does it read clearly good then let's finish so that's one of the things that I wanted to point out because of the way that he draws so tight and so naturalistic that in his thought process, he's not thinking that way. He's thinking about graphics. Same here. Even this is just all very clean and graphic. And it reads clearly. There's no background. Why? Because he wants this here. This, just this, re this to read clear, clearly. So let's move on. I, I believe that the next page has a finished yeah, so here is, uh, I, I have two examples of finished Adam Hughes artwork. I could have I could have just filled this with just the finished stuff because it's just, there's so much of it. But uh, I just wanted to show you what it looks like once he once he, he, he starts tightening things up. So even even in his naturalistic, he, he still does stuff like this, which is really cartoony and fun. But look how well this all reads this this shape here this is beautiful uh beautifully drawn too but look look at this how, how this reads very very graphic but it's so naturalistic this he loves to do these kinds of this kind of lighting and this kind of lighting is extremely beautiful because what it what it what it's doing is that we have two light sources and then there's a dark that splits them up uh, usually you only see, you would see this whole entire thing kind of dark, uh, uh, blackened out. And maybe there's a slight rim light, but he tends to do both sides, which is really good. Look at this great expression. Uh, of course, this is where, where this reads really well, right? Like he's got, he's beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful drawing. Super clear, but simple. Look at the silhouette of this is very organic. You can see all the muscles here very lightly put in, uh, just indicated and they're and they're absolutely gorgeous. We have this beautiful silhouette. It's extremely graphic to the point where he, and he even leaves this blank here. There's like a lost edge here. 
We've got her, who's just absolutely fantastically drawn. Just this is this is like a bodybuilder body with the big broad shoulders and the very um, small hips for the because um, of the lack of uh, body fat. I want you I want to I want you to see this look at this beautiful little these little guys back here look at the look out how, how very clean the these um this shadow shape is just to emphasize his body and look at her shadow shape here both of them extremely clear poses and they're just so very very lightly drawn in here it's just amazing but look at the such a great expression. So good. Great acting. Another drawing here. Another comic book page, I should say. Again, what really makes this work is the silhouette. The way that they're all silhouetted graphically to get out here. Look at this pose. It all reads really, really well. The way that he spots all the blacks in order to just make sure that all of this is reading these graphic shapes here, just to emphasize and reinforce this. Great attitude. Beautiful read. Look at the anatomy on here. Very, very subtle uh, uh, anatomy here just it, it, it it's it's absolutely working like the expressions are working great stuff look how graphic and simple this is and yet it reads so well i mean this is it, and one of the things that he does amazing is hair and i'm going to talk a little bit more about it as we go along because there's a lot but look at this beaut these beautiful curls i you know i i tried i've tried so much to try to like steal these kinds of lyrical curly things i don't know how it's done like it drives me crazy because i can't quite get that i, I think i just have to just practice drawing these lo the, these beautiful little curls because they they they're so amazing they work so well on on hair when they, he draws these hair strands and of course this again very graphic beautiful so everything he does has this kind of graphic ide ideology uh, in it which is the way that you you really ought to think when you're thinking e either in composition or just in drawing characters because um, uh, what, what people really respond to is the graphics of a thing and then of course learning to finish a drawing is also an important thing but they're actually kind of two separate things one thing is the graphic representation graphic design and the other thing is the execution of a, of a, of a well-drafted drawing they're, they're 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 separate things that can be combined to create a beautiful drawing but uh, they are kind of two separate art forms Here's a here's a very simple straight ahead kind of drawing yet at the same time uh, not so simple. Um, we've got uh, <coughs> uh, this kind of foreshortened arm coming toward us and at the same time we've got here we have the the, the, the way that the muscles come in and through the brachioradialis coming in here look at this look at this um the pec going into the into the uh, uh deltoid we have the deltoid shape here we got the 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 bicep coming in through here and all of this is wrapping around look at this look at the again here we have this beautiful hair shape making really beautiful shapes coming in through and it's a graphic, graphic drawing. Uh, the the gesture that comes in th and through. And um, one of the things that, that I admire a lot, especially when you're drawing this kind of, uh, uh, when you're drawing a person, 
is the way that all the body parts flow into each other as one unit, right? And it feels all of a, of a line. It feels almost all of a one line. Like it feels like it's just like one unified, like just flow. And it's this, this drawing is so lyrical and so rhythmical. It has so much, this goes right through here and it comes into here. The, the beautiful line here, this comes in and it goes across and through. This co connects over here, goes through into the neck. Like all, all of these lines just flow into each other. They, uh, they all feel connected. Like look, 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 the, this line here goes right through and it goes and it, and it feels like it's just attached invisibly right through there and then this comes in and it goes right through right in here so that's how you know that, that that you've got a unified holistic drawings when every line just feels as if it's connecting to another line somewhere in the drawing and it, and it just feels holistic it's just this is just a gorgeous gorgeous drawing so here's some of the, one of the sketches that i that i said i was going to be looking at sketchbook drawing so here we have uh, different uh, attempts at, at the hand we've got different facial uh, expressions features we've got ex uh, experimentation with the eyes just looking at the way that good interesting versions of the eyes uh, different silhouettes for the for the pose of, of the character we've got um, this We've got hand hand uh, drawings here where you could actually see the the breakup the, the way that he's breaking up the fingers the phalanges of each thing finger look at right there you could actually see here the the top plane and the side planes and here's the the top plane here the side planes of the thumb like th this look at this beautiful hand right here we have the top plane of the uh, of the of this finger we have the side plane see this is the this is the secret this is the secret sauce right this is the stuff you don't get to see when 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 uh, when you're looking at a finished drawing because you're you're so um enamored at at the final uh but but there's a lot of work that goes into just trying to get to that final and uh and and it's often um not uh seen not not uh, you you take for granted like like, like you, you just assume that somehow uh people just uh, oh that's just uh, it, it just happens it just it just falls out of the sky no there's 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 a there's exploration there's there's uh, there's different um there's different attempts just just playing around with things and at the same time there is more to it than just oh look at it look at the final drawing look at because it, when, when you look at stuff like like look at this hand it does ha it, it is broken up into top plane and side plane and it's broken up into little box little boxes uh so he's 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 actually breaking down the hand into basic shapes in order to manage it and, and to and try to get it to be three-dimensional this is why it's really good to look for things like uh sketchbook uh pages from your favorite artist if possible because you could see the thinking process you could see that it isn't magic that they're working through things and how they construct stuff here's another sketchbook drawing we got one of my favorite characters, Power Girl, which I've drawn a few times. And uh, look at this. This is just really nice uh, breakup, uh, shadow shape breakup. Um, uh, you, you may get caught up in, 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 the, in the shading part and the, and the smudging and all this other stuff. But what you really ought to look at when you're looking at something like this is not the little soft lines it's something more like this this these the graphic the graphic uh shapes being used here the graphic shapes the the simplification of the graphic shapes so that when you go at, at this 
what you actually should be looking at is this right here boom this graphic shape here this 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 shape here this shape here this represents the the, the cheekbone right here coming the coming down here and and the muscles here this this the way that the light is hitting here boom 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 and and this graphic here is what this that's what that's the magic the all little shading that's not the magic the magic is is the actual graphic breakdown of the masses that you're going to shade in that you're going to create uh, uh, the the shading into that's the important thing when you're when you're looking at at tone because this is what uh, you uh, as the audience you you will perceive instinctively um, the rest is just gravy uh, again here's here's uh, here's some uh, this you know graphic uh, designs uh, because this is the most important part uh, you know looking at, at, at how the poses read in, a, in this graphic -ish way as possible and then here we have uh, you know we have like a a, a a silhouette very clear pose uh, notice that the darkest lines are the exteriors not because the exterior the contours are are, are, are important but because um, they highlight the the silhouette that that he's trying to to capture uh, in spite of the fact that also these are extremely uh, accurate anatomical arms so for example here we have this rhythm that comes in here like that and then there's a rhythm that comes in here like this and then there's another rhythm here and so notice here uh, it's it's extremely important when it comes to drawing human beings especially when you're trying to draw muscles is that you're trying to avoid uh, Michelin man muscles so this is not there is no mirror of this we have boom boom and then the this muscle comes in it begins right here like this so it boom boom so there's like a there's like an interlock like this and then this muscle comes in and then there's another interlock so there you don't draw this you draw this and this right that's the that's what you're doing and it's and that's actually what the net the muscles actually are doing and that's what makes it look organic and it doesn't you know you're you're not drawing a snow uh, muscles made out of like snowballs right beautiful great graphic design but all of these are just good silhouettes They're, that's what he's really playing with here's a here's a much more finished uh, drawing and again look at this hand look at the way that that he's got this little gap right here in between the fingers just to break up all these shapes and the the hand is one giant graphic shape while at the same time being completely and totally naturalistic and and anatomically sound right uh, but it's simplified and graphic and designed and so like all the flanges here are all all present and, uh, and and there's nothing about this that looks like not a hand like 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 a like false right but it's still it's beautiful it, it, it's it's just designed very cleanly and look at this look at this hand look how beautiful how it wraps around like the fingers how they wrap around while still having this organic really organic knuckles here and of course, one of the things that, that Adam Hughes is a master of is faces. So we've got this, his, the way that he draws eyes, mouths, and noses is utterly fantastic. Like you just can just look, it's worth, it's worth drawing lots and lots of uh, uh, studies of his faces, like just draw his the way that he he simplifies faces while still understanding the construction make sure to always know what he is drawing how he's constructing stuff but here again see here's the here's this be these beautiful beautiful this beautiful hair 
that I can't, just drives me crazy. Like, first of all, there's there's this graphic, right? There's this graphic shape for this hair. Let me pull back a little bit more. This graphic, graphic shape for the for the hair. But then it comes out and it does this, these kind of like little curls, and uh, you you have like the pinch and then the out pinch and out and and, and yet at the same time whenever ever whenever I try to do this, I get I. I get a start, start and stop, and it doesn't it doesn't flow nearly as well as this. It's just they're all over the place. I don't know how he does it, but these beautiful curls and these beautiful lines they just all feel so natural and and so designy, and it it, it drives me crazy because I draw a lot of a lot of ladies, and I just can't get the hair to look as beautiful as this. This is just just pure graphic joy right here with this hair uh, I gotta keep practicing trying to get something to to look as good as this because it, it really is um, it just adds so much to the to the face to have all these beautiful curls right and again we have the the, the thing that makes this interesting is the is the, the in the reflection is that here we have uh, an explanation of of the of the of the torso. Um, here we have this muscle coming in here, and then here we have the belly button, and then we have and we continue down with the ab abdomen muscles here, and they're all and then here this piece here is the bottom of the of the abs, but it's also part of the it's also a reflection shape. So there there's there's a there's a, there's a reflection design shape while still emphasizing the anatomy which is really really um a good uh it just shows that he knows what he's doing and 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 he's and he's um playing up that knowledge while still also adding a reflection shape another sketchbook a drawing here and so we've got lots of different different uh, this he's just playing around with a with a with a Superman head which is this is really beautiful and then we've got hand hand sketches here we've got arm sketches here we've got different explorations for the fist we've got we've got an eyeball here we got a face we got noses we got head shapes here just a arm shapes eyes what would be interesting eyes? I think this is for Superman. These are male eyes over here. We got uh, uh, sketches here for this. We've got this beautiful drawing of, of of Superman's face with his chest here, and here's a close up of the of the eye and the eye exploration. It's just so good, so good. You know, it's it's just all exploration and adjust and just looking for 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 the right uh right things that will make the right things look uh, look good like and and in here we've got the muscle that comes out here underneath and and the, the the deltoid going into the bicep it, he's just amazing great shadow shape coming down here some really quick rough sketches and uh, definitely put this in here just so that you could see um, that it's it's the exploration of the poses, the exploration of of dy the dynamism, the the action. Um, you don't start with the finished drawing. That's not what you. That's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for what's the final. What you're looking for is what what am I saying? What's the power? How do I how do I get the power to feel right? How do I how do I get the drawing to 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 be clear? Um, and this is all graphic shapes playing with clarity and power and physics and energy. Uh, that's what we're looking. That's what you're looking for at first. You're not looking to finish a drawing. That's uh, the finished drawing is comes after the exploration and and and, and the and and, and 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 the graphic clarity. Uh, more here's more gestures. Uh, this, this scribble wasn't even 
didn't even come out. Then we've got like this here. Like this is interesting. It looks like it's an abandoned thing because it looks a little bit too tight. We just got here this exploration, this doodle. I'm sure that all he was doing was kind of like just kind of doodling. He really, it was, this just seems like a doodle. The reason I think that this just seems like a doodle that just wandering and then he just kind of abandoned is because whenever I do something like that, I start with an eyeball or whatever and start doing it all. I, I get somebody, something, somebody is just standing there doing this and then, and, 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 um, and it's really boring. And, and, it, and it would, and it actually takes me doing uh, like gesture drawings to get something that looks dynamic. Again, so this is probably just a, a doodle uh, uh, that just kind of boo boo boo, and and, and 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 you know he's just playing with the hair and things like that. And it's probably uh, something that I ought to do now that I think about it. If if I want to get this kind of the, the hair my my hair to look as good as his hair, maybe I should just go and just doodle wavy beautiful lines until I finally start getting beautiful wavy lines that that look as beautiful as the way that he does them. And this is kind of the the the, the thinking uh, behind all this sort of thing whenever you're exploring uh, an artist um, you want to do this that sort of thing is it, think about how you you you'd go about um, doing something similar yourself okay and so here we have the next uh, drawing here and um, it's kind of a goofy goofy uh, drawing here in the center but but it's it's still again really really clear graphic representation and uh, we've got here some exploration exploration drawings uh, obviously not see see the hand exploration here this this over here like we have the ghost of a fit the way that he had hands over here the fingers then it wasn't quite what he what he wanted and then he had we had another scribble over here so it's not like there isn't a struggle it's not like should I put it over here should I do this should I do this where should I put the hand uh, we've also got like little tiny little doodles here is this is this what I should do is this what I should do how about like this uh, we have this shape over here, like, oh, the body's turning away. So there is an exploration here of, uh, of a lot of this stuff. And then we have, look at this beautiful face. Oh, my gosh. Let's, let's see if we can zoom into it. Yeah, look at this. So here we have some uh, really, it, it's, a, it's a very graphic eye. Because the iris, iris is it's, it's just it's just a, a graphic shape here, and and the way that the the eyelashes are are just it's just a graphic, shit, like all this stuff is just one giant graphic shape. But in there, it still feels like it's an eye in an eye socket. In fact, here's the eye socket right here. There's a little bit of a line here, and then we have this plane of the of the nose here coming in. We got this coming across here got this plane here very clearly defined but just really simply kind of crossed out here then we have like th this turning shape we have the the nostril and where the this this uh, plane of the nose comes in and away from the nostril it's just beautiful stuff and really clear clean clean head shapes here another beautiful head like I said he's just a master of drawing these heads and look at and again with the with the gorgeous gorgeous hair hairlines that just add so much lyric lyric the, the lyric and, and rhythm and design but look at this eye unlike the other eye which was just a graphic representation here we have the actual iris with the eye with the pupil and then we have the shadow of the uh, of from from the um, eyelashes coming in and across, right? Then we've got here where we see the top plane of the eyelid right across here, and then we've got uh, the either a shadow or a little bit more eyelash, right? Then we have the tear duct here. 
and then the eyelash is going in and across and overlapping and coming over like that we have the the eyelid fold going into the muscle here and it's really anatomically sound beautiful drawing this mouth going in and around wrapping around attaching back here where we see either teeth or just open mouth just gorgeous and finally we have this last drawing it's not the best it's actually a little bit um, it's a little bit uh, warped because uh, of the slant of this page but as you can see there again it's just about the silhouette of the figure making sure that it's clean and and that it reads well but then there's that this exploration of heads here where we see a little bit more of a of a finished head for this 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 might be what what he what he intended maybe not but we have a we have a, a a finished head with the with the with the lighting all working with the graphic of the hair although i think this hair is a little bit more interesting here with all these curls here this one is not not so much looks like a like a really quick kind of meh, really pop popping out here and then here's another doodle and exploration of a head and i think this feels to me like just like a train of thought kind of do doodle it's something that that's easy for him to just kind of do he's done it so many times right but here we have this this pose but and 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 all about and the thing about this pose is how, is how clear and clean it's 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 meant to be and in the graphic designs of all of these things so uh, whenever you can i highly recommend looking uh for for adam hughes's work uh he's got uh, plenty of plenty of uh, of stuff uh out there i'm going to put a link of uh, to a lot of his work on his video uh, on at the at the uh, in the description of this video uh, but let me show you some of the books that you probably would never be able to get i'm sorry to say but um but I will link to books that you can get for yourself. So over the years, I've gone to uh, Comic-Con multiple, multiple times. Uh, when I used to still go to Comic-Con, when I still had fun going to Comic-Con, uh, I used to always stop off at the Adam Hughes booth. And in the Adam Hughes booth, he always had a sketch, a, a self-published uh, book full of his sketches from that year in general because he gets commissioned a lot and you can buy commissions for him from him and so I bought all these sketchbooks um, and in his and the all of these is just full of his drawings uh, uh, similar to what I just showed you um, let me show you from this one because it's right here So we have like drawing. So this is this is kind of the the kind of thing that you would get. Yeah, this is really pretty cool. You get the you get this sketch here, and then you get the final in here. And he, there's a lot of marker drawings, and. Um, So there's there's just like a, a lot of this. This is the kind of stuff that 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 you would find. And so uh, I will find the the drawings that I can, uh, the the books that I can online. Uh, I'll link to some of them in the in the description of this video so that you can pick up uh, these these things. 
um, for yourself uh, if you can. Um, but but these um, were kind of exclusive, uh, and and you could find like most of these sketches online as well if you're looking. I mean, he's he's just got hundreds and hundreds of drawings. So, but this is my small collection of of, uh, of Adam Hughes uh, sketchbooks, and they're all. Uh, I'm, it doesn't look like they're signed, but. But I got them all at his booth um, at Comic-Con. I'm not sure if he st still goes, and you might be able to pick some of these up if you go to Comic-Con, look for his booth if he, if he still goes to, to Comic-Con. I haven't gone in years because it's just gotten too, too crazy, and it's, it, just, it just isn't as fun as it used to be. Uh, believe it or not, I used to, when, whenever I got tired of walking around the con, I would just walk into Hall H and just hang out and watch the, the stuff. Now you have to camp out for days just to get into Hall H, which is kind of awful. Uh, but anyway, the, that's the way that, so here's, here's, um, uh, that's Adam Hughes. Uh, I hope uh, I've opened your eyes to yet another amazing artist, and I will uh, talk to you next time. All right, bye.